Okay, uh, <coughs> I'm back again, and now you can see the engine is about to get up in operating temperature. It's yeah, almost. And still, it it goes smooth like it should do, and uh, now we we can start to give it a little pedal here and see what happens. It should start to jump and. Oh yeah, see, this this was not as much as it can do. It will almost stumble and yeah, cut out the engine actually. Now see, I don't know if you can hear it, but it it really and this is. This is what uh, I call a common problem with these uh, modern crap cars. Newer car, lots of trouble. Older car, not that much trouble. So what that tells me is uh, stay away of new cars if you can. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's not always a possibility. So um, let's have a look at how to diagnose this problem. As you can see. There's no engine management lights in here lighting up, and that's not because I have pulled out this uh, <laughs> lighting bulb <laughs> or whatsoever. But um, uh, this, what this tells me, is it's not a um, problem that the engine management can tell you about. So it might be a hardware problem or what you call that. I'm not that good at English. Um, uh, it, it might be a mechanical problem. That that might be uh, the way to put it. Um, and in these cars there is uh, this uh, recirculation uh, unit for uh, circulating the, uh, the uh, exhaust gases uh, back to the inlet. Um, and what I know is this usually makes lots of trouble. Um, especially the ones with these um, uh, electrical uh, EGR valve shit. Uh, that's pretty much bullshit. Uh, this uh, this one uh, doesn't have exactly that system, and I'm not that familiar with this engine. Uh, this engine is uh, the 3.0 liter Ibico engine, as I told earlier, um, and I don't know that much about this engine. You see now, it runs smooth again. It has been settled for this uh, minute or something, and. Now it runs fine. If you have a look at the uh, uh, at your tester, I, I use this one. Uh, this is an old Autel. Um, if you have a look at it, it will show you that the EGR percentage goes to zero, uh, and no problem with the engine. It's smooth. If you just do like this, now you are back to problem. Soon it will start to rumble. Yeah, see, that's because the uh, engine management has uh, started to open up for this uh, this recirculation unit again, um, and now it tries to compensate or what you call that uh, for this exhaust gas put in. So it might be something to do with how much diesel it spreads into the engine, uh, as. You would say with an older car, oh, this is this is air in the in the diesel, or maybe it's water in the filter, or blah 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 blah. blah. Um, it's not the case with this shit car. Um, it was also one of my thoughts first time I had a look at a car like this, uh, but soon I figured out that that's not that's not it. So let's open the lid of this shit car and have a look out there. <coughs> Maybe you can hear it a little bit better now. It, it, yeah, boom, 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 you can hear. And now, remember, there's there's still uh, 30 seconds or something of uh, of active EPR valve shit. And when the the engine management turns off this, the engine will run smooth. Boom, boom, boom. It's, it's not bad at the moment. If you have been driving around with it for a half a day, it's very, very bad, I told you that. <laughs> mm. 
Oh shit, it starts raining in this, this stupid shit country. <laughs> but you see, boom, boom, boom. And as it gets hotter, it gets even worse. So that's, that's not, not funny. <laughs> When I brought the car uh, about a week ago, uh, there was uh, this uh, uh, this uh, seller. He told me, uh, "Oh, see here, they just paid uh, lots of Danish crowns for changing this EPR and blah blah blah." And uh, the car has just run through the MOT and blah 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 blah. blah. So uh, lovely car. I thought uh, that would be lovely and nice to try, but nah. Later, I had a look down here. See this this one, this unit here is the uh, circulation crap unit, and here it's heated up with water from the um, uh, the engine cooling. Uh, I don't know why this, how this system works exactly, uh, but one thing I can tell is it's bullshit. Now you see, engine management has cut this. Uh, this EPR shit and runs lovely. Soon as you give the car a little on the pedal, then it starts boom, boom, boom again. Um, and it doesn't come with any engine management errors or anything. Um, uh, so it might, it, it should be a mechanical problem with the engine or with the fueling or something similar to that. But here, you see? Oh, now you listen up, you can hear now, cuts totally out this shit and boom, runs lovely now. Mm, lovely. Um, here, this this one, I don't, I don't know what it's called, um, it, but it, it, what it basically it does is it's a it's, um, magnet, electric magnet uh, that you can put power to and then it will open for vacuum here. You see this, this is the vacuum line here. It will open up the vacuum here for this this velvet motherfucker over here, um, and that velvet shit is the one dealing with the uh, how much the um, exhaust gas uh, will get through and down here into the inlet again. Um, what you can do to uh, make get rid of this uh, this problem for, for sure but uh, <laughs> that's not the way to fix it uh, I have to tell you that one um, but see now we we just just try to trick it into opening this bullshit again and let's see if it will start to boom boom I think it will yeah you see classical French bullshit <laughs> uh, oh I forgot about it sorry Vigo um, yeah, what we do is, you see still, there's no engine management lights in here. Um, now we go ahead and turn off this bullshit and we go back here. Let's see. Oh yes. Um, <clears throat> what I think is the problem, and I'm not a mechanic as I told you earlier, but I have pretty much experience. So. Um, Mostly with older engines, but um, this shit here, it's a mechanical thing and it's operated by this shit, uh, this electrical valve motherfucker, uh, which is controlled by this one, the ECU. Um, and when this one is connected, the ECU thinks, oh, lovely and shit, uh, I can open and close and blah, 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 blah. But if this one over here, it's not entirely closed if it's stuck in open position because of lots of bullshit in there or something. Um, that will that will trigger the um, the engine ECU to think that, that everything is okay and do what it should do, while it should actually do something else. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not good at English, so it, it's not uh, easy for me to to uh, tell you uh, about it. But um, a thing you should try to figure out if it actually is problem uh, with this uh, this velvet motherfucker um, is you push down this motherfucker and, uh, and take off the plug 
this see take it off just put it away and leave it there for a moment now what happens is the ECU thinks oh this one here is not uh, communicating blah 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 there's not uh, uh, any voltage uh, reference from it and it's not good as it should be so I will omit using that circuit and run off the um, uh, basic program uh, and uh, that might actually do the trick let's try start up the engine again see the engine management light is right there now it's filled up see oh starts lovely and runs oh smooth mm, there I go, lovely but now you see engine management light comes on and check engine blah 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 um, see now we give it a little pill here vroom, vroom, vroom. and shoop, totally smooth no problem okay mm. see as I told you there is a problem with the ship but the problem is it's not this one because this one only opens and it can't be a problem with that one but not that often um, this one here uh, only controls how much vacuum is sent over here to this valve for telling it how much to open and close and blah 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 um, so uh, so I think problems over here <laughs> uh, and well known that you can you can see that it, it is a mechanical problem with the car so um, so I would have a look there and now I will uh, remove shit here and take it apart and have a look at it and I'll get back to you. 